Hey, what's going on, Fragrance family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you a tag video. I was tagged by my bro, Solomon's Vineyard. That's right, Russell Mack, the OG in the game for the five fragrances that got your fragrance journey started. So really excited to get into this, so let's go ahead and start it. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances. And if this is your first time, welcome. We are now friends. We are now family. Be sure and hit that red subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that bell notifications. That way you do get any and all notifications when I upload a video. So like I said, guys, I was tagged by the OG Russell Mack at Solomon's Vineyard. His channel will be linked in the description below. Be sure and pay him a visit. Um, but this is going to be the five fragrances that got your fragrance journey started. And guys, I'm really, really excited about this. I do apologize um, of the of the delay on the tag um russell been really kind of crazy so i do apologize and yes guys i do have a haircut yes the locks are gone it was time um just guys it was so much to deal with but that's not why we're here we are here for fragrances so let's go ahead and get started with the first All right, one guys, so the first fragrance that got my journey started for those of you who've been a part of the channel for any length of time guys you absolutely know the first one that started it all that started this crazy hobby and i got a video coming on it guys it's going to be probably my most edited and most well presented video but guys it is none other than the original nautica and yes guys this is a vintage batch guys this is a 1997 batch of nautica and man the vibes are all there guys this sweet kind of almost marine aquatic but yet still has some woodiness in the dry down type of fragrance guys absolutely amazing i don't want to get too much into it because i've talked about it before and i do have a review coming on it but guys this was the fragrance that started it all back for me in 1997 yes guys i got this around christmas time and i never really looked back guys this is the fragrance that started it all for me nautica the original now the next fragrance guys i've talked about quite a bit and i do have a collaboration with barrett fragrances on their version of this fragrance no way details coming on that very soon really excited about that but as i was thinking back in my fragrance journey there was one fragrance that really stood out as what was my next fragrance so the fragrance that i really wore a lot and the fragrance that had a huge impact on my journey and guys no surprise here this is dracar noir and yes guys this is an actual vintage batch shout out to my boy luke um he actually sent this to me free of charge and i'm so glad that he did this is a 2001 batch i've checked with the cosmetic calculator and the batch code is september of 2001 guys so we're talking about a 20 what is it 23 year old fragrance now absolutely amazing guys this is a mask and then almost barbershop but not quite um you know it has that old school kind of 80s powerhouse style to it kind of a fougere but not really some creaminess some citruses woody dry down just masculine and musky guys this is it might sound crazy but i wear this all through elementary even into middle school and high school but i was rocking this back in like second third grace guys it's crazy but this fragrance no doubt had a huge impact on my fragrance journey dracar noir had to make this list. Now this next fragrance, I'm kind of a little sad. I mean, honestly, I'm a little sad about Dracar as well, just because it's kind of a shell of what it used to be. And this fragrance, yeah, it's kind of the same thing, guys. They're not quite as powerful. They're not quite as potent as they used to be. But guys, this is no doubt my most worn fragrance all throughout middle school, guys. This was Davidoff's Cool Water. And guys, man, this fragrance has really stood the test of time. It still smells like cool water like if you guys have ever smelled uh, green irish tweed from creed um or anything like that guys you know what this dna is but it's this kind of lemon verbena um you know citrusy watery musky woody dry down guys absolutely a powerhouse back in the 90s guys um even into the early 2000s whenever i was rocking this back in middle school absolutely a head turner a lot of my teachers even were a little bit confused it's like why do you smell good like you're you're in fifth grade why are you wearing cologne hey how you doing like, why do you smell good why are you wearing cologne you're in fifth grade guys i can't really help it guys it's just who i am and i've always really enjoyed fragrances and this cool water guys it has definitely been part of my fragrance journey 
All right, guys, so for this next fragrance, I actually don't have a bottle. I probably should, but I wound up gifting it to a buddy, and I just haven't really got it back in the collection. I don't know why. I definitely should because it had a major impact on my fragrance journey. And, guys, this is one that I wore all throughout high school. In fact, this is probably... No, it's not probably. It is my most worn fragrance all throughout my high school years, guys. What fragrance am I talking about? As you can see from the picture, guys, this is Liz Claiborne and this is Curve. This is the original. Now, there's flanker after flanker after flanker. You have Curve Red and Black and Blue and Green and all kinds of stuff in between. And uh, that rhymed. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but... Hey, that was awesome. Um... But anyways, uh, the original Curve, guys, this sweet kind of sandalwood, creamy, not really like fougere-like, but there is this kind of lavendery creaminess to it that, you know, some have equated to like a roundabout, you know, masculine fougere. But What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? definitely not it um to me it's more of this creamy sweet spicy uh sandalwood bomb guys absolutely amazing and this is another one that sadly the reformulations have really gutted this because this used to be a powerhouse and when i say powerhouse guys i mean i would rock six sprays on this and people would smell me down the hall and guys the scent trail would go on for a mile guys this was just an amazing amazing fragrance and yeah it still smells good but it's definitely a shell of what it used to be but that's not why we're here guys we're here because this fragrance had a huge impact and really kind of got me started on my fragrance journey and into this crazy obsession that you see behind me guys i've always had at least three or four fragrances and these ones these have definitely catapulted my journey into what you see behind you today but guys nonetheless liz claiborne's curve definitely had an impact on my journey all right guys so that's going to do it for this video thank you so much russell for tagging me now i've got to tag some people so i'm going to tag tz fragrances i don't know if you've done this uh yet or not i'm gonna tag uh, alex moore from more fragrances please um i'm gonna tag jeremy uh from house of colossus get to this when you can guys no pressure or anything like that um who else am i gonna tag i'm gonna tag you know I, I don't know if they've done this yet i'm gonna tag justin from stay fresh productions and then i'm gonna reach for the stars and i think this would be kind of cool for her to do i'm gonna tag andrea from curly scent so i would really like to see what your guys's fragrance journey look like in those five fragrances that really kind of catapulted your journey and then i'm also going to leave this as an open tag because russell tagged like the whole army of people that uh, i'm surrounded by so um but yeah guys those are going to be my tags and those were the five fragrances that really catapulted my my journey guys be sure and leave a comment down below what five fragrances really catapulted your fragrance journey guys and were any of these on the list i would actually be really curious i know you know i'll be 32 here in april so a lot of the people who are probably 25 and older have a similar experience with these fragrances but guys make sure you leave a comment down below what your five fragrances were that started your journey um i'm going to catch you in the comment section i'm also going to catch you in the next video and remember if you love it wear it <laughs>